What's going on guys? It's Corey Vanderplu here at Corey Photo on Twitter and Instagram. Today we're going to look at this image here. Uh, pretty dope looking image, but actually what the issue was with this one uh, after the client selected was this is the image. I actually am missing this whole elbow part. So how am I going to get that whole chunk in? I mean, you could liquefy it out, but how did I get from that to that? So let's just jump in and let me show you how I did it. So again, we go back to the raws here. We can see that this was kind of a fleeting moment. Uh, G tended to move a lot. So you kind of have to go with him and feel the flow. Uh, and you can see he only came up here for a little bit, a few frames up close, and then uh, just this one wide. So I can't really reach to the others and like I can't take an elbow here. Um, but let me show you what I did. So I actually went back and scrub through to see if there was anything earlier. And when we get to this image, I'm saying maybe I can use an elbow here. And uh, I figure I come across this one to, to try and fix it. It's got the seam, it's got a nice elbow shape. So um, I copy my settings to match our picture down here. Make sure they're the same. And then uh, I open it up. So I give myself a, a little extra room here because I know I'm probably not going to be too, too much wider than this. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to find something that can fill this shape. And then you see when we zoom in, we got to, uh, we got to fix the seam all the way down. So here's what I do. I take this, this whole arm, I copy and paste it. And then what I do is paste it over and I drop the opacity to about 50%. And now I'm pushing free transform tool, which is Apple T. And I'm trying to bring this elbow essentially to match. To match the size of this one. And that way I can really just paint it in. I mean, maybe I go like this and get rid of that. Let's see. So look, that looks pretty good here. What we can do is come up here to our free transform and our warp tool and warp modes, and you can actually make it fit quite nicely here. So as long as these seams are matched up, you're sitting pretty. I'm gonna go put that through, bring the opacity back to 100%. I'm gonna flip a mask on down here, invert. So what I did there didn't work the first time. You can see this is white over here is white and black. I want black in the background, the opposite color. So when I delete, the mask is being deleted. Now I can push my B tool. Make sure you're at 100% opacity and just paint in where the elbow was. You can see that's not too bad. Maybe I'll go in where this seam is, so that way it works a little better. And I know I'm gonna have an issue here. Let me flip it on and off. You know, I want that seam to continue. So what I'm gonna do actually is go back to our masking tool and go right to the edge here. And then just see how far I can get away with it. You wanna keep as much as the natural arm as possible. I mean, that's just a rule of thumb. You don't have to follow that. But that's generally what I try to do. Now I'm looking down here. It looks a little weird as well. So I feel like we can take it right to this lip. Whoops, wrong way. So now if we just follow this natural line, you know, that's a lot nicer. And I might actually bring that down. It's actually a little too dark. So for me, that's pretty good for right now. Pretty good. So what I want is a better seam with this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this over even more. Go back, get rid of this. And now I'm gonna go with a big brush so that gradient's a little nicer. Bring that in here. And now what I'm gonna do is make a new curves layer. And I'm gonna hold down option and click in the middle so I know it's only selecting this one. And then I'm gonna bring the curve layer up. I'm just looking at the transition here. I'm going to delete this mask. Make sure my artboard is black in the background. I'm going to change the opacity to something around 15% and then I'm just going to dot it in around here. 
And wherever it's dark, you can kind of brighten. And it's already looking much, much better. Now, now that this looks good, I could feel like I could fix this a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is bring another curves layer. I'm gonna bring this one down in the upper mid. See, just so I can see it start to disappear. I'm gonna delete that by holding a uh, command delete. And then with my soft brush, I'm just gonna paint in where this fold is. It may be a little bit up here. See that? It's like it's just getting lost in the armpit. I might even darken that armpit now. All right, that looks really good. You still see the seam in there. That's nice. Now I just gotta fix this seam. You can see that the seam is cut off. So I'm gonna do a new layer. This. And then I'm actually gonna put uh, the J tool for our healing brush. And I'm going to copy this all the way down and get rid of our, our fold. Let's see how the computer does. That's pretty good. There's a little gap in here, so I'm gonna push this. And there you go. And the seam already looks so much better. I'm using the mouse here to get a little bit more accuracy with my line connection. Uh, sometimes when you go too close with the healing brush, it, uh, it gets a little weird. So that's way better. I'm gonna get rid of this, just using the, the healing tool. And that is incredible compared to where we were before. The seam even looks like it cuts all the way across. Now what I might do to, to, to round this out is I like to go shift command option E and that creates a brand new layer. What I do is bring this into liquify and now really give it the shape so it's nice and clean. You can be as finicky as you want here. Uh, you can let it go, be as natural as you want. I like, you know, kind of very stylized. So just kind of adapt it to, to your own style. The elbow actually looks just a little bit big. So I'm gonna reduce it. If you look in comparison to his arm, I feel like it should be way in. Also the tip of the elbow looks a bit weird. I actually did this a few weeks ago, so let's see how I did it the first time to see if I'm still consistent. Copied and pasted it. Did the curves layer, the same thing. Fix the seam here in this weird little fold. And I fixed with the curve, the same thing I did before just to make the transition a little smoother. Then you can see I actually did darken this down again just to, uh, again, make everything smoother, make it all look uniform. Just the way you would dodge and burn skin, I did the same thing with the curves layer. And then I cut them out so it was just on the nice, perfect background. And then I did my liquify, extended his pants so it would fit the crop. Cool. You're done, done that, throw the crop on, all your treatment and your grain, and there you go. Cool looking image. You would have never thought that was from something else. I do this a lot with a lot of my images, so uh, it always gets me out of a jam or gives me an edge when I need to make an image 16 by nine for any reason. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions below, leave a comment. I always respond. Happy shooting.